All right, guys, uh, we're going to get right to it. This is not going to be the funnest video, uh, but we are just learning about and seeing how bad and how extensive uh, the craziness in Queensland area in Australia has been. You know, that area, uh, New Zealand, Australia, I'm sure you're well aware. Uh, I'm sure it's all over the news. Uh, I honestly have not watched uh, news about this probably in four or five days, and I only saw one video about it. Uh, I've just heard a lot from you guys. So the biggest thing is just my heart goes out to everyone. I really, 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 really hope that this ends soon because as you can see from the first screenshot, this is just unbelievable, unbelievable amounts of water. It seems like it just keeps storming and storming and more rain keeps pouring uh, and it doesn't seem to uh, give a break. So first and foremost, I hope everyone, children, their pets, the people of any area, that affected by this are okay. Secondly, way below that would be property and stuff. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are having a lot of vehicles, possessions, sentimental items, property being damaged or or even ruined by this. So, oh, this is terrible. I just want to watch and learn about this with you guys. Please comment down below uh, anything you feel free to say. And uh, this video is not monetized uh, by me. So, Hopefully there's no ads on this. Uh, if it is, it's not going to me. There's one thing I know. Australians are really, really strong, really smart, really awesome people. Stay strong. Uh, I know that emergency crews and fellow Australians uh, will help out. And I hope that any further help is given. I, I wish I could go help right now. Uh, this is terrible. So here we go. Wow. That's terrible. It's been raining for almost two weeks already. Wow. Yeah, when I originally heard about this, I, it was probably a week ago, I thought it was just like a really bad, like, like a hurricane or something or like a really bad storm that was like, one or two days. I didn't know that this was like a multi-week pounding, pounding, pounding of this wet uh, rain everywhere. It, it, it's really bad. And more is coming. Jeez, what is the deal, huh? I know there are rainy seasons in certain places, but gotta think that this is well above normal. This is pretty scary. So that's a quick one. This was suggested by me, to me, I'm sorry, by someone uh, in the comments where I found this one. Uh, I'm going to click on one of the news ones. Hopefully it won't. Good evening. Hundreds of homes are flooded tonight and power in the CBD could be cut for days as this deadly rain bomb bears down on the southeast. There's been destruction Jeez. on the Brisbane River as untethered boats and pontoons floated away. One man was rescued in dramatic scenes. Carried by an unforgiving oh torrent. Oh my god. Oh no. A houseboat wow. with a man still on it. Jump off. Is he gonna jump off? And then horror. He's gonna jump off, right? Oh. Get off. Get off. Oh no. Oh my god. Get off. Get off. Oh, my the boat flips and is sucked What the under hell, water. man? It and the man carried by the raging water from Kangaroo Point to Howard Smith Wharves, where he's spotted clinging to the wharf, there bystanders pulling him from the water. Look at that rain, it's That's torrential. Uh, the fact that everything's soaked and then there's more from the sky, like there's more rain just pouring down. This is crazy, Tim man. being freed, the man in his 70s miraculously surviving and even walking away. The big houseboat just came screeching through, smashed into it, and it disintegrated into pieces. The mighty Brisbane River is menacing. The force of these floods wow. picking up whatever it can. Pont That's what's crazy is, uh, you know, the way water moves, right? How powerful it is. It is literally, the, it's like a current ripping through you see that like the that water is just moving along and it really doesn't care Tunes what gets in the way downstream it, it's wild 
breaking ferry terminals in half. Jeez, oh my God, this is doing so much damage. This is not good. The heart of Brisbane covered in debris, complete destruction. Oh my God. The river rose rapidly, suburbs, homes and residents at its mercy. So the water from Norman Creek has come. Look at that, you can't even see um, the street or the sidewalk or anything. Under the house and is now flooded the rest of the street. Parts of Tawong and Holy Milton smokes. are underwater. In Orkin Flower, a lone kayaker saved this family who can't swim. We were talking to him and he offered his help and here we are, thanks to him. These St. Lucia... Well, that is great to see. These selfless acts, uh, courageous acts by people. Uh, you have certain people that are just stranded uh, and they might not have a means to get out. They might not be able to swim where they're going. And uh, to have these amazing people bring them some sort of right supplies or food or anything uh, in, in some sort of mode of transportation, like a kayak or, or whatever's available and whatever will work. This is amazing. This is what you want to see. It, it's terrible any way you cut it. Uh, but it's great to see Aussies uniting and helping each other out there. That's spectacular. So this was your reception area? Yeah, that's the, oh uh, the, the entry to the building. We were expecting a little bit of water. There was some last night, but uh, this uh, wake up to this was a little deeper than we were expecting. Roads now rivers. And you know, I, I hate, uh, I'm someone, a lot of people like water or water sports or swimming or whatever. I'm someone that personally hates water. <laughs> uh, when I say I'm a desert guy, that's what I mean. Like I want to be away from water. I, water to me is so scary. It's so powerful because honestly, when you look at a city, right, that gets flooded, I mean, there's really no worse way to get damaged than, than flooding, right? It damages so much. It just almost ruins every car it touches. It ruins buildings. It ruins everything, right? It's so bad having something that's meant to be used and, and dry and submerged in water. It's just It just cripples everything. It's just so bad when stuff like this happens. Uh, Cars submerged. I can't imagine how much inundated. damage this is doing. My bedroom. So we've recently renovated and made an inside Look at that. Pool. Look at that. Residents Holy up. smokes. That was someone's house or apartment. And to see There's furniture with uh, two, three feet of water. Oh my God. Bedroom. How terrible. So Walking in water inside of your living space. Recently oh my God. Made an inside pool. Residents packed up what they could Jeez. as soon as they could. Dorothy White's house was hit in 2011. She's not taking any chances this time. Came up about six inches. Came in over, sorry, all in under the house. We're going now before we have to be taken out. The flood claimed a man. Uh, that's what I've heard. I don't know much about it, uh, but I've heard that there was a really bad flooding rain event in 2011, supposedly around this area. And now this has got to be up there. I heard, like I said, I can't remember if it was a week ago or longer. I heard that they didn't think it was going to be as bad, but I don't know. It's been another week. We're still seeing this, this horrible footage here. Is this approaching like being as bad as the 2011 event? Go ahead and tell me down below if you would. Overnight after his car became submerged. In Graceville, the water came slowly, but surely. We've just been watching since about two o'clock yesterday. We've watch the water get worse and worse this oh family God. and their pets had to be rescued how do you recover from this right um, it's a lot of work how do you clean everything up how do you in Newstead. Oh find out God. how much is damaged in Hawthorne, debris is piling up fast this ferry terminal smashed unfortunately all those boats are just pushed up against each other smashed like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of boats wow this was jill taylor's street That's my in oxley boy. everybody kept saying it's never going to happen again 2011 but here we are residents here wow are only 10 years already difference already seeing huh? the impact of early dam releases and there will be more to come we'll probably end up with another meter meter and a half of water we're just hopeful that it doesn't go up to um, floor level. We're going to see these high levels for the next three days. One of the big wow. concerns for residents here is just how quickly the water level has risen. We're standing here in a backyard which, as of five hours ago, had next to no water on it. Oh, but as wow. you can see, it's risen more than a foot within that time. Hundreds more than a foot in five hours in the yard? Closed. That's scary. That's really rapid. People 
to work from My home goodness. tomorrow. My goodness. Public bus and ferry services are also suspended. Right. Power could be I cut hope for so. days <laughs> in some areas. Jeez. For some, a kayak is the only way around. This rain bomb unrelenting. Ben Murphy, 7 News. Yo, that is terrible. I'm not going to watch this whole newscast. I think at this point, I get the point. Uh, I'm not really sure what other videos I could watch. So uh, if you would like me to check out some more stuff, you can link it down below. Uh, I definitely would like to learn a little more about this. Uh, but I'm not going to watch these whole newscasts uh, on the video here today. So please, if you would like to inform me about something, uh, comment below. I really hope that this ends soon. I really hope everyone stays safe and stays strong. And this is going to, I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is, this is ugly. This is bad. Uh, I really, really feel for everyone affected by this. Australia uh, is just an amazing nation with excellent people. That's what I've really learned the most. And it is, it is like uh, near paradise. It is a beautiful country uh, in every single corner. But of course, this is proof that nowhere is perfect, uh, unfortunately, right? Mother Nature sometimes is really rough and really brutal. And something like weather can just be so powerful and destructive. Of course, uh, it's no secret that the world is going through a lot right now. And uh, of course, my heart goes out to everyone in Ukraine as well. Everyone affected by that. It's just crazy world, crazy world we've been in, right, for a few years um it, it's you don't need to hear that from me i think you already know that uh geez louise right when is when can we get a break here <laughs> best of luck to everyone i hope everyone stays safe all my viewers and subscribers i love each and every one of you and uh i'm sure someone that's watched my channel has, is affected by this and my heart really goes out to you i want you to know that our community is incredible we're all here for you guys i'm here for you guys uh you guys have uh, really, really made this channel beautiful, and I love my community. And, and I tell you what, when this blows over, I hope soon, uh, I will try my best to find a reputable, some sort of support, relief fund, and I will damn right donate to that. So uh, if you guys got leads on that as well, please let me know. Love you guys. Not a normal outro because this is not a normal video. So uh, with that being said, I will just see you in the next one. And I will see you in the comments of this one. Stay safe out there. Take care, guys. You will get through this.